So guys, this is the XPG Gamex S11 Pro SSD and as you can probably guess, this is a PCIe NVMe SSD that plugs in into the M2 slot of the motherboard of your desktop or laptop. XPG is a sub-brand of Adata and Adata is a Taiwanese company, a quite well-known brand and of course this is a made in taiwan product this is a pcie gen 3 ssd if you need a gen 4 ssd they are very recent you might have to upgrade your motherboard they have better performance but they are crazy expensive as well for professionals and enthusiasts there are no definition of perfect but if you are a gamer or youtuber or any other kind of professional this ssd has more than enough performance that you might need in day-to-day -day usage or daily professional workflow we will perform a speed test later in this video and in this budget you can't get better than this just look at the aggressive naming scheme the styling and the color scheme now let's check everything out in details, let's take it easy. So first of all this SSD is based on 3D TLC NAND. 3D TLC NAND is a kind of standard nowadays for budget friendly high performance SSDs. If you compare 3D TLC NAND with SLC or MLC or QLC, it offers a very good balance between price and performance. Talking about the performance, the box says that the read speeds can go up to 3500 megabits per second and the write speeds can go up to 2300 megabits per second which we will check out later. It has SLC caching and a DRAM cache buffer for better performance and it also has LDPC ECC or error correction to protect your data. So looks like we have only the SSD inside the package and there is nothing else. That's kind of strange but I'm really happy that they did not include any kind of user manuals or documentations. <laughs> So this is how the SSD looks up close and this is the back side if you are interested. There's the XPG branding and this part is all metallic and apart from the cool design aesthetics, it also works as a heatsink. Of course this is not the best heatsink in the world but it is there and it helps. XPG or Adata claims that it can keep the running temperatures cooler by up to 10 degrees centigrade, which is again a good thing and of course it is better than no heatsinks. Some motherboards like the one I use which is MSI Tomahawk B350 do not have enough clearance. There is not enough clearance under the GPU for the M2 slot if you are planning to install a big fat heatsink for your M2 SSD. High performance PCIe NVMe SSDs get really hot under heavy load, so a heatsink needs to be there for consistent performance. This pre-installed heatsink is not the best but it will get the job done and it keeps the SSD slim so there will be no problems while installing. I ran speed tests and as you can see it is super fast. The ride speeds are more than what the specifications say. I ran the speed test multiple times and we can say that the write speed on average was 2400 megabytes per second or 2.4 gigabytes per second and the read speed was 3400 megabytes per second or 3.4 gigabytes per second. Well I performed real file copy tests as well but it doesn't show you the real performance, it does not reflect the actual capabilities of this NVMe SSD because I was copying the file from a SATA SSD to this NVMe SSD. So the SATA SSD was the bottleneck there but it is still very fast as you can see it is almost 450 megabytes per second. Without going in too much details, the NVMe SSD can write the data blazingly fast but the SATA SSD is simply not fast enough to supply the data at that rate. However, if you copy from a faster source like one PCIe NVMe SSD to another one, it should work at full speed or at least close to its full potential. 
It comes with a 5 years warranty which is again a great thing. It usually sells for anywhere between 7500 to 8000 rupees in India which is a little more than 100 US dollars. And it can be even cheaper in some countries so go ahead and check it out. All the links are in the video description and in the top comment. If you use my links, you pay the same price but it definitely helps the channel. So this XPZ GameX S11 Pro PCIe NVMe SSD, wow that was long. So it will be good for both gaming and other professional tasks like video editing etc. So if you want to buy one, go ahead, links are in the video description and in the top comment. So if you liked the video, you know what to do, hit that like button and share this video with others. Consider subscribing, it's free. Hit that red subscribe button down there or you can also hit the round channel logo on screen then click on subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and turn all notifications on. If you want to say anything or if you have any queries, please drop a comment. So guys, that's it for this video. Have a great time and I will see you in the next video.